Hello America, this is Keith, your friendly neighborhood technician coming back at you with some very good information about what actually is the DC three-phase motors that are in the front load washers nowadays that makes them so efficient. Okay, first of all, this is an old school electromagnetic motor. Okay, what I mean by electromagnetic is this, as I in as I put give power to this, I create a magnetic field. Inside the middle are a bunch of pieces of metal that turn. The more AC current power I give this, the faster this is going to turn. Okay, so if I want to go, if I want my washer to go really, really fast, I've got to put a whole lot of power to this. If I want it to slow down, I put a little bit less power into it and it'll turn. Now, modern science has come up with what's called a DC motor. Okay, what it is, is it's basically two pieces. We have what's called our stator, which is wound coils, okay, and we have what is our rotor, which is basically a piece of metal that is fashioned to fit with magnets, okay, and these are actual magnets. And everybody knows a magnet, one side will come together, one side repels, okay. So what happens is this actually goes in here and it fits in there, and though it's basically magnetic, and it will turn, okay. Now, if we look at it, Okay, I have, let's go this side here. I've got three ports there, okay? This is A phase, this is B phase, and this is C phase. Yes, I know the scientists out there going, that's not what it's called. This is the basic generic version of how this works and why it is so much more efficient, okay? So how this works is, every third one of these is wired together. So this one, and if you follow the wire, it's kind of hard, goes to this one, and then so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. Second, so on, so on, third, so on, so on. Now if we look at this, we can see each three of these fit inside one of the magnets. Now I have a north and I have a south pole in my magnet. So what it does is, whatever position it's in, I am going to either have one of these charged positively, charged negatively, or no charge whatsoever, okay? And that is with DC current. Okay, it takes very little DC current to charge my wound coil. Okay, so as my coil, let's say right here, this is the north pole of my uh, magnet. This is basically neutral middle, and this is my south pole. So if I want my machine to go, if I want my rotor to go this way, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge, ah, let me get lined up a little better. I'm going to charge this as a north charge, which is gonna repel from here and attract to here. I'm going to do this as a, this one is a south charge, being this is my north, it's going to push it and repel it. And what basically gonna do, it's going to turn the outer around it. And this one's gonna stay neutral. And then basically, depends on how fast I alternate positive, negative, neutral, or north-south neutral, is how fast I can roll this. And it doesn't, I don't have to put a whole lot of power into it, I've just got to move it quickly. So the quicker I move it, the faster I can change the polarity of my stator here, which means the faster it's going to, this is going to make this roll around it, okay? So I don't need more energy to go faster, I just need faster off and on positive, negative, neutral uh, changes in my, in my stator here. This does not move. This is what moves around this, okay? So as this attracts it, it actually pulls, it'll actually pull it up to it. And then once it gets up to it, it's gonna change the neutral. And then the one right next to it's gonna pull it and attract it, it's gonna go all around. As fast as I can alternate it, as fast as I can make this thing go. So it's using actually very little power to actually roll the, the tub. Where this one is the AC motor. If I want it to go faster, I have to give it more power. Okay, this one I don't. It's just how fast can I turn it off and on, off and on, the magnetics of it off and on in reverse. Okay, is how fast I can do this. And this little part over here is called a hall sensor. What that does is that determines what each one of these is doing at any given moment. So this relays information back to your control board. Your control board then knows what to do with this. This is all done with computers. You really can't do without computers because something has to watch and push and watch and push at the same time. But this is a very, very efficient motor, okay? Whirlpool, LG, Samsung, most all the manufacturers are using this in place of the old direct drive or the old AC electromagnetic motors.
okay? So yes, it does cost less money to use this than it does to use this. I can roll this up to an average of about anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200 RPMs. You've already heard me explain how fast 1,200 RPMs is, and it takes the same amount of energy, it's just going very, 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 very fast. With this one, I can get up to about six, six and a half, seven hundred 700 RPMs before I'm really at the limits of what this is allowed and will be able capable of doing. So I can go faster, spin the clothes faster, get more water out of the clothes with the direct drive here versus my uh, regular um, electromagnetic motor can do. Okay, so basically this is how it works. Like I said, this is a real layman's semi-scientific but not very scientific operation on this because there's a whole lot of people with letters behind their name that come up with the blueprints on how to do this and there's a lot of guys who spent a lot of years in school programming the computers to read this okay and they function together and it makes a wonderful thing for your front load washers okay and some of your top load washers also still have this technology on it but it's a little smaller scale I like to use this because I can actually show you how these fit in the magnets and how they would actually function and move around the magnets, okay? So, that being said, don't be afraid to look this up and you know, get a little more scientific definition. To me, not worth it, but that's the basic way these work. So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and come back next week for some more good information. Have a wonderful week.